This video is going to go over exercise 2.2, configuring WSUS. So after you install WSUS, you have to configure it so you can retrieve the updates from Microsoft or another WSUS server. You'll also need to configure WSUS on what updates need to be downloaded and when the download should occur. The mindset to this is that after the WC server has been installed, it must be configured so it knows where to get the updates from and what exactly to download. It's kind of like your, your Windows operating system on your desktop or laptop. You want to configure what updates you want and how frequently you want them to allow the download. If, for example, you can allow the critical or the suggested uh, updates. Um, most times I just click on critical and I only want those installed late at night when I'm not working on my machine so it doesn't slow my tasks down. <clears throat> That's really all you're doing with WSUS. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and minimize this and let's get started. I am on server 1. And you'll see we have a triangle. That's because we've only installed WSUS and it's saying, hey, we need to do some more stuff to this. So we're going to click on tools. Go into Windows Server Update Services, and we're going to go ahead and click on Run. Okay, it looks like everything was successfully completed. <clears throat> and for those of you who need to do this for another class, you're going to want to do a print screen from this. So let me go ahead and close. Here we're going to click on next. We want to uncheck this. Click on next. We want to type in Okay, we're going to click on synchronize from another Windows Server Update Services. In the server name box, we're going to type in server02.toso.com which I do not have up yet. <clears throat> Before we do that, let's take a look at this question briefly. After synchronizing from another WC server, what default port is used? And the answer is going to be 8530. <coughs> and you see that here. And I'll go ahead and turn on server 2.
All right, server two is logging in. So here we're gonna go ahead and click on next. And then specify proxy server, click on next. And here we're gonna click on start connecting. Okay, so now we're going to click on next, and then next, click on next, and we want to begin the, the initial synchronization, and next and then finish. Now we'll go to the WSUS console. We'll expand server 01 and you'll see the synchronizations here. And you'll see that it's currently in progress. And you want to take another screenshot of this if you're not in my class. So now that synchronizations are running, we can go to the update service console. Click on options. And this is going to give us the available options. We can also now click on computers and see all available computers. And here we want to right click all computers, add computer group, and type in group one. And then click on Add. And that is the end of this exercise and the end of this video. We'll see you on the next video.